hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be doing practice question number six priority class for ck exam 2025 so we're already working on a kubernetes cluster of course with that existing deployment running in a namespace called priority so this is very important um we basically have to create a new priority class named high priority and the value of this one should be exactly one less than the highest existing priority class and after that we're gonna patch the existing deployment busybox logger in the priority namespace to use the newly created high priority okay if we do kubectl get pc or k get pc stands for priority class so as you can see we have the highest user priority with a value of a thousand so basically the new priority class that we create has to be one less so will be 999 and let's go ahead and do this so the command will be kubectl kubectl create we're gonna do pc for priority class the name high priority we're gonna specify the value of this one so the value is going to be 999 so 999 and we have to add a description okay so it doesn't really matter what you put here but let's put here description okay and let me see what can i put i'm gonna put high priority um, workloads yeah Okay, that's done we have the priority class high priority created so let's go ahead and verify this using the same command that we did before so it's k get pc and as you can see we got it here now let's go ahead and verify that we have the deployment as you can see i can do k get deploy but it's not gonna appear because it's in the namespace priority so look at the deployment here named busybox so let's go ahead and patch this deployment okay um the patching if you guys didn't watch my video about storage class you probably won't know but it's the same command actually so we're gonna do first k get deploy busybox logger and the namespace because we have to see the information in a yaml file so we can see um where are going where we're going to start so basically we have the spec here after the spec we have the template and in the template we have um another spec so in the second spec basically this one we're gonna put the priority class here okay has to be in the containers so let's clear this the command will be kubectl patch okay deploy for deployment minus n for the namespace in this case priority and now we're going to specify the name of the deployment so in this case it's busybox logger and we're going to put minus p for patching we start this with a single quote and left brace okay so remember before the order i told you first spec and after the spec we had the template so we just put template here and after the template um we had the second spec where the container is at okay there we're gonna put the priority class name okay basically in the exam you can just edit it the deployment and put the priority class name but they don't want that if you do that they're gonna rate you super low or maybe the question not gonna count so you have to do it with patching okay using the patch command doing it the hard way okay so they can test you in the skills that you have um, with this command so priority class name is high priorities high priority sorry and we're gonna close this with a few braces and a single quote okay so now let's go ahead and verify that everything is fine okay because it's easy to get a typo in these situations mm. 
everything looks perfect so let's go ahead and click enter and as you can see the deployment has been patched okay um let's go ahead and verify this so we're gonna do the same command as before when we had um the deployment in an IAML file so as you can see this is the deployment and we got priority class name high priority okay everything looks fine uh, i forgot to say basically the priority class name is to assign priority to pods so obviously the pod that has more value more priority are the pods that's gonna be scheduled first okay so let's go ahead and clear the screen and verify this again doing k describe deploy minus n priority okay for the namespace we don't have we only have um, one deployment so it's going to describe that deployment and as you can see here we have priority class name high priority and that will be it for this video guys don't forget to subscribe and like this video and thank you so much for the support